the last time we were here we had the crash to desktop we've had all kinds of issues with that as you know over the past year almost every single one of them has been traced back in some way shape or form to a GPU that is just giving us it's all but uh, yeah it just just doesn't have quite what it needs to run what we're needing it to run so this will be the final run the, the nostalgic run of the 1060 and anybody out there in chat land I've got a 1060 available if you want to buy buy one it's a uh, it's affordable man I, I actually I actually don't know but I think that the card may actually be failing we've had a few other things that are that are coming up from time to time like the fact that it doesn't always initialize when I turn the machine on and so I think it's more than just the fact that we've we've worked it past probably what it's really designed for and more to the fact that it's just at that stage where things are starting to wear out not a lot of moving parts on that thing but still when you like I literally have it turned on every day for several hours a day and I've been better lately at turning it off and kind of trying to conserve it but when I'm not when I'm not flying I'm working and so that that thing really has gotten a lot of use all right enough chit chat let's see if we can figure out how we're landing this thing we're gonna just fly by kinda to the right hand edge of the island it looks to me like we're gonna have an orientation of about a runway maybe runway 2-1 like we're sort of on a left crosswind right now I would say I could be wrong let's uh, let's spin this kind of on a 2-1 sort of heading and see then we'll use that as our as our guide here let me let me turn this dude off no, that doesn't do anything unfortunately I thought that would straighten it out for me but that's okay um, I don't know. What do you think? Is that going to get us pretty close? No, it's a little bit more than that. It's almost more like a two, like a two four, I would say, kind of in there maybe. Let's let's get turned a little bit here and just see how close are we to being crosswind? About right there, I would say. Yeah, so maybe yeah, maybe two two, two four ish. Uh, to be honest with you, we're probably pretty close right there. All right, so let's let's do it, Lungers. Don't lose sight of the island. That's the key. There's this guy out here with the trees on it. That's a really good reference point. If I can turn just just past that, I get pretty well lined up. Heron's Nest traffic, Islander one one eight one six on the left downwind. Landing back to runway 24, Heron's Nest. Ah, oh, there's a nice notification to pop up right at the perfect time. I can lose some altitude here as well. First notch of flaps are going to come in. There's our island. There's the seaport. That's kind of fun to try to land in uh, if you have a float plane. That's kind of fun to try to do. And we're kind of a beam. You can see it's tough to keep track of the actual runway. You just sort of have to, again, that little island with the trees is going to be our, our aiming point. We want to just make our final turn just on the other side of that. <clears throat> that should put us about where we need to be. And the other thing about this approach that is tricky is that it's elevated a little bit it's not right down there it's not right down there on the on the beach it's up a little bit you know 40 or 50 feet tough to keep track yeah tough to keep track of that of that old runway there downwind simulations okay there we go let's uh let's turn left base here's nest traffic 
Islander left base, runway 24, Heron's Nest. <laughs> Mr. Checklist. Yeah, pretty much got it. Got the speed, got the, hopefully the little reference there. I might have cut that just a tiny bit too short. It's okay. Boy, we're really stuttering now. I wouldn't think this scenery would be overloading me. It's n There's not much to it. It's that dang seaport base. Those eye blue yonder guys going all willy-nilly with their seaport bases. Their water aerodromes. Alright, so there's our 65 or so. Flaps are down. We're configured there. Lights are on. There's our little island we want to turn at. And do I see my runway? Not quite yet, but we will. There, I just see the end of it here. Let's just turn again right on this side, this this far side of this island. And then, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hey, good fixes. Good luck tonight. By the way, he's... Uh, he's Booting up on ground there, ATC action on ground, if you want to head his way. Harris Nest Traffic Islander turning final runway 24, Harris Nest. 24 ish. About 500 feet, let's just get a feel for where we're at here. And, alright, not bad. Not bad. We're looking for 58 on the ref but you can see how it's up just a little bit so I feel like I'm a little high but I think that's kind of misleading this is like a little bit of a Papua New Guinea sort of you know a little bit tougher to judge type of deal okay here we go we're too fast already if I don't get slowed down by the fat guy in the yellow shirt I'm going to have to go around oh now I'm getting too low aren't I Maybe too low. Got to miss the uh, miss the double X's. Uphill slope, that'll help. And we're down. And I got a tree <laughs> branch in the middle. All right, that uh, that wasn't too bad. Honestly, it was. Just super stuttery, guys, and that, that's a little bit of a bummer, but um, that will hopefully not be a problem here in a couple of days when I get things swapped out, but very cool, very cool. Let's come down here. Let's figure out uh, what we want to do.